Well, good afternoon, TCIS. I'm Mr. Ron, and I'm here with a very special guest, Mr. Daniel Chang, or is it Chang? Chang. Chang, it's Chang, all right? And uh, you've got another name that uh, you, you're known by here at TCIS, and uh, what, what's that name you want to share it with us? Um, so some people call me Africa. They call you Africa, that, yeah. that, that's a bit of a shock. Um, how did you get that name? Because um, before I lived in South Africa and when I went back to Taiwan, people were like kind of like shocked, like, oh, you're from South Africa. And some people ended up started calling me Africa. Yeah, uh, sh yeah shocked. Because um, when I look at you, I, I, I just don't think of Africa. In fact, <laughs> I probably look in the mirror and I think uh, more of Africa than when I look at you. So that's a little bit ironic. Uh, but, but that brings diversity to our school. And uh, I think it's very interesting. All right, so we got some questions here about school and just your experiences here. Uh, sleeping in class, it happens. Have yeah. you ever been caught? A um, few times, yeah. What do teachers do? How have they responded to when you've slept in class? Mm, some teachers like just ignore and start um, keep on teaching, and some teachers like will call me up like Daniel, wake up, yeah. Does it motivate you to stay awake more in class? Um, it depends which block is it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, some are different than others. Okay, so you've been here for two years. Yeah. How has TCIS improved over those two years? Mm, I think the most improved part is the WTV system because from the first year when I came here, they were not that organized. I think it's not that organized, but this year, when I see they have more facilities and stuff, I think it's like well organized. Okay, well, well thank you. Uh, that's something that we work hard at. And uh, we've seen you at the Thursday morning assemblies, I've even seen you on stage a couple times. What's been your most memorable experience during the Thursday morning assemblies for mm. high school? When I performed guitar, and I'm actually not good at guitar, so it's kind of embarrassing. Yeah. But you've pushed yourself, you've learned a new skill, and yeah. now you're on stage actually performing. That, that's quite an accomplishment for, for, for one year or two years' time. Now moving on to a more serious question, and this is an issue that's been debated uh, with students and with teachers. Uh, cell phones, students using cell phones and having cell phones in their possession. Uh, how do you feel about that at school, students having these phones? And, and just explain your thoughts on this. Mm, I think um, we should like not let students use it during school time. Like we can use it during lunch time, but during class times we should not like um, let students to use cell phones. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on a minute. Let me take this call. No, I'm just kidding with you. All right, all right. But no, I definitely uh, understand it can be a distraction. Uh, sometimes, and uh, but there's also a need for it when students are using it appropriately. So that, that's a debate that we should have in the future. Um, moving away from the more serious question, uh, three teachers, you get to choose. You're stuck on a desert island. Which <laughs> three teachers from TCAS would you choose to be on that desert island with, and why? Mm, I would choose first Miss Colby. Um, second, Mr. Craig, and third, Mr. Ron. Okay, you want to explain why you made those choices? Because um, those three teachers have told me before in my two years, and I found that these three teachers are um, like very nice to me, and I believe when we're stuck on the island, we will have, even though we're stuck, we'll have a lot of fun. Okay, yeah. well, well uh, I, I hope we would have fun if we were on an island together. Daniel, that's an odd question, so moving on. <laughs> so, uh, favorite subject in school this year? This and year? Mm -hmm. mm, strength con. Okay. Yeah. Have you made any developments? Have you gotten stronger or you just yeah, like the air conditioning? I think so, yeah. I'm okay. A bit stronger. All right, well, then, it, then it's, it's effective, for sure. When you're bored in a class, classes can't always be exciting and fun, even though as teachers we try to make them as fun as possible. But what do you do when you're bored in class? Play my cell phone. <sighs> Play on 
your cell yeah. phone, and we're back to that subject once again. Last question. Second to last question. Most memorable moment this year. What was it and why? Mm, when we went to Chiang Mai and we won our first champions in Chiang Mai tournament. I, w I, I would have to agree with that as well. That was an experience for us. So that's something you, no one can take away from you. You, uh, you earned it. You were also, uh, you got an award doing that, that tournament. Yeah. What was that award again? Um, MVP. MVP of for, the tournament. The, for of the tournament. So congratulations once again for earning that award. That's Thank a great you. job. So the last question, this is a question that uh, has been asked from your peers. This isn't something that I came up with. Uh, it's a little awkward for me to ask this question, but I'm going to go ask it because our audience is demanding this question. Daniel, how does it feel being one of the most popular, handsome young men here at TCIS? And how do you deal with all of the attention you get? Um, <laughs> I think just be myself and don't get distracted by those people. Yeah. Stay away from those distractions. Yeah. Focus on education because that's what we're here for. Yeah. Thank you, Daniel. This was a great interview. Thank you. Good luck to you in your future. Have a great day. Thank you. All right.